Howdy, y'all. Welcome to Redneck Tech. Yes, we do have Redneck Geeks in the South. Today, we'll be taking a look at the Raymax Troy, which is a mini ITX case. It even has a handle, and it looks like a toolbox. So let's get to it. All right, so here she is, girls and boys. I know these things are traditionally done with the opponents out of the computer, but I had to have somewhere to put my computer in, so. But it also gives me a, uh, an advantage of giving you the pros and cons of this case. Okay, so this case says it supports a full-size PSU, which you see right here is a full-size PSU. There's not really a lot of problems with this case, but if you are going to buy this case, this this is really for a niche market, which is um, people who want a game on the go or like me who run a call studio outside of uh, their house and they want something portable to get by with, this, this is definitely a good option. This um, case supports up to a 12-inch video card. You see mine is about 10 inches right here. So this is a, uh, it comes with two swappable 2.5-inch drives. It has room for two more 2.5s down here. It has room for a 3.5-inch drive here. It comes with Two 120 millimeter fans, one right here, one right here. These are three pin. Now, pros of this case is, well, it's small. It has a handle and a latch and a lock. Problems of this case are mostly just wiring. That's a big issue with new ITX cases is, is wiring. Because wiring is a pain. Any mini ITX case I've ever built out of. Um, the frame, the metal frame, all your holes the computer is to sit inside this plastic exterior. And I'll take it out real quick to show you how to maneuver around that. You have four screws in the back, one right here, 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 and here. You first need to take out okay and inside of it right inside here I know you really can't see it very well but right inside here is these little clips what to do clip out So, this then allows you to lift the frame up. Build inside of it, just sits inside the plastic box for protection. And another issue you'll find is wiring for the SATA on the bottom. You have two SATA connectors for your hot swaps, and you have a four pin Molex. Um, when you're routing these, be sure not to kink them too much because they'll probably damage that. Swapper, and that's about it. It's a good little case. Um, for sixty-five dollars, you really can't complain too much. Um, like I said, most of my problems were I had huge hands, and this is a small case, so wiring's a problem. Yeah, Raymax Troy. And that there was a look at the Raymax Troy. 
Remember, if you like what you see, click like and subscribe down below. And if you have something you want me to review, just comment in the section below and let me know. And uh, I'll see you guys next time on Redneck Tech.